Even though you can install Osterix and Obelix XXL in Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8 and Windows 7, it won't really run in any of those Windows versions, throwing you an error, an installation error occurred, module 5279. The problem with this game is that it is very old and that it was designed for Windows XP and 32-bit modes while most newer operating systems are 64 bits. There is a remastered version, which is called Romastered, which works just fine on newer Windows systems, but if you want to play the original game, you will have to do that in a Windows XP virtual machine. That's the only way to do that. You cannot run it directly in Windows 11. Checking any compatibility settings for this game won't help, it still won't run. You have to patch it. Fortunately, a patch exists. I've put that onto my website in the description below. You can click and follow the link. Wait until you will be redirected to Google Drive. And please note that I'm showing this while not being logged into Google Drive. Google has recently changed the security policies for Google Drive, rendering many of old links unaccessible until the owner of those links will change them so in this case I made every effort so the files will be accessible. Here you can see three files, two of them are patches, and these are zip archives, and one of the files is a text file called password. And this is the password for the archives. The reason I had to pack those files with a password is because for some reason some antivirus software, like inbuilt antivirus in Google Drive, inbuilt antivirus in Google Chrome and similar browsers, and inbuilt antivirus in Windows, which is Windows Defender, consider those patches to be a virus, even though they are not. Anyway, you have been warned. So you have to download one of these patches. The first one is a simple patch, it basically just makes the game run, while the second one will also add widescreen mode. Since this is an old game from before widescreen displays were really a thing, it doesn't support aspect ratios other than 4x3. With this patch you can, you can enjoy this game on wide monitors like 16x9 and 16x10. After you download any of those archives, you have to put the file that is inside in your game installation folder, replacing the existing one. Depending on your game, its installation folder will be either in program files or in a separate games directory. Anyway, if you try to drag the file from the archive to the directory, there will be an unexpected error. That is because the built-in zip archiver in Windows is not able to handle password protected files. So first of all, you have to download some kind of archiver. I will be using 7-zip, but you can also use WinRAR or any other archiver. And before the next step, it will be a great idea to temporarily disable your antivirus software if you have one, and if you don't have one, you should disable Microsoft Defender if you have it running. So use 7-zip to unzip the file, with the password, and as soon as you unzip the file, just drag it, replacing the existing one in the game directory. You may be asked for an administrative privileges, click on that. After you do this, the only thing you have to do is to just run the game, and it will work just perfectly. Here, Asterix and Obelix XXL, a game from 2004, perfectly works on the latest and so-called greatest Windows 11 64-bit. If you want the widescreen resolutions, you need to download the second file, which has widescreen in its name, do the same thing, unpack it with a password, and then replace the existing file in your game directory with, with the one you have just extracted. The patches replace the same file, so you don't have to use two, you only need one of them, for the error to disappear. However, when you reboot your system and try to launch the game again, you will be not able to do this because Windows Defender, the antivirus built in into Windows, detects this patch as a some kind of Trojan virus for some reason. So if you still want to play the game without disabling the antivirus software completely, 
you have to add the game folder to Windows Defender exceptions. After that, you will still not be able to launch the game since the file is already blocked. That's why you have to unpack it again, replace it again, and after that, the game should work just fine. You will find all the required files on my website by following the link in the description below. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.